Hi, Luke Raymond from Inaxis Security Systems. Today we're going to talk about pan, tilt, zoom cameras. What they are, how they can help us, and how they can change the way that we uh, deploy applications both indoors and outdoors. Let's take a look. To start with, pan, tilt, zoom cameras, specifically analog or IP cameras, are installed in two different ways. When we talk about IP cameras, whether they're indoors or outdoors, all the communications happen over the Cat5 cable. Both the pan tilt zoom protocols, which is the ability to control the zooming in and out of the optical lens that's on these cameras, as well as the pan tilt protocols to be able to move it from right to left, up and down, are all communicated over the Cat5 cable. There's a more traditional way of doing so using analog cameras, using digital cables themselves. These have different languages depending on the manufacturer you choose. Which is why we suggest, if you're going to go to the pan tilt zoom world, it's much easier to deploy them in an IP environment, simply because you only have one cable to pass. This cable not only will provide the data, as in the video coming from the camera back to the recorder, but also all the pan tilt zoom protocols to be able to zoom in and out, back and forth and up and down, and also oftentimes the power if it's a power over ethernet cable. The camera itself is powered, controlled, and all the video is processed over the same cable. In the analog world, it's a bit different. You have your communications cable to control the pan tilt zoom function, you have your, pow your power cable to be able to actually power the camera, and you have a third cable, coaxial cable for the video. In the case of IP pan tilt zoom cameras, there are indoor cameras, such as the one I just showed you, but there are also outdoor cameras. Whether your application is indoors or outdoors, choosing the right camera for your application is the most important thing in your installation. In some cases, a fixed camera is the perfect application. If you have a fixed field of view covering, for example, a strategic door or an alleyway, well, these types of fixed cameras that we have here are the right camera for the decision. However, sometimes you want to have a camera that has multiple applications. Yes, to be able to cover a strategic alley, but at the same time, you want it to be able to move around and cover other things, cover larger areas, maybe zoom far away to pick out a license plate or cover a large area of a street. The ability to zoom optically very, very far away and to pick out details over there, that's what pan tilt zoom cameras are for. Now, there are different zooms. You have smaller zooms, such as a four times zoom, allowing you to optically zoom in four times before you start to digitally zoom into the image. Or you have much larger ones. For example, our Legend camera with a 33 times optical zoom. Now, what does that really mean? Let's take a look. A fixed camera can be used, as mentioned, to look at a strategic area. An example is this fixed camera here. This fixed camera is pointed towards a strategic location with a fixed field of view covering anyone walking into the front door. However, we also have a pan tilt zoom camera. The pan tilt zoom camera is up at the top of our building. Now this pan tilt zoom camera is designed to be able to zoom around and look at detailed images of the entire street. Whether I want to zoom to the right or the left, I have the capability to move the camera around physically without actually being there over the pan tilt zoom controls and zoom into far away images using the optical zoom. I'll show you what I mean. As I mentioned, choosing the right camera for the right application is very, very important. Here we have an example of a fixed camera. This is a fixed camera with a fixed lens covering a fixed area. It's a strategic area, as in all the cars come in or out of this section. That's why having a fixed lens is very, very important. At the same time, here's an example of a 360 camera. This is a fisheye view camera with a very large megapixel count. If I zoom into this image, it's a digital zoom. This digital zoom allows me to identify more clearly what I'm seeing, but when we see far away items, such as this van over here, we can't really identify what we're seeing. The reason for that is because the number of megapixels in this camera are divided amongst the entire fixed lens image. When we deal with a pan tilt zoom camera, however, pan tilt zoom cameras such as this one can be fixed on an individual location. But at the same time, because they're pan tilt and zoom, PTZ, it allows us to digitally move around, or more importantly, optically move the camera. By optically moving the camera, I can go and take a look at this same van that we saw before. As you can see, I can move it around. Once I see this van, I can say, well, instead of digitally zooming into it, I want to have an identifiable and usable image. So I can optically zoom the camera in, 
and take a look at even small little details far away. This sign over here says GC Dubois Excavation. If I zoom into the, the truck that we saw before, well this truck as you can see is quite far away, hundreds of feet. And I'm able to zoom very, very, very far into the image and clearly see what is happening. Compare this to the 360 camera, which is a digital zoom, and you can see a huge difference. Pan tilt zoom cameras and their ability to zoom in very, very far away from you with an optical zoom and to get clearly identifiable and usable images at very, very large distances is a key component to deploying a proper security system. Here at Anaxis Security Systems, we are a professional company with professional security cameras, and we always are able to help our customers in choosing the right camera for the right application, whether it's a fixed camera for strategic viewing of strategic fixed areas, or a 360 camera where you want more of a general view of a large area with the ability to you know, digitally zoom in and kind of see what's going on, or it's a pan tilt zoom camera with multiple different options of optical zooms available, and both indoor and outdoor, well, we at Inaxis Security Systems can help you to choose the right camera for your specific needs. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the sections below, and we're happy to reach out to you and give you any information you need. But for more details now, go to www.inaxis.com. Cheers.